hi everyone this is Natraj I am back with other video today I am going to talk about that git submodel on GitLab CACD pipelines git submodels the git submodels are the feature of the git actually this particular concept is a brilliant one it essentially to allow you to attach your inside the other repository at that specific path so in this way we can keep our source code is a organized way you can see in this diagram there are three repository will be there the first one is that parent repository next one is that library repository third one is that app repository so in this case we are mounting that lib and app repository into that parent one so in this case we can easily to segregate that repository as well as access to that corresponding user also one of the advantage is this particular library repository we can sharing with the other project also so this particular concept we can fit with the devops also for example when we are working with the terraform model approach we can create that multiple repository for modular things we can associate it with that in the parent one so this also will be one of the use case here gitlab ci setups here i am providing the steps we'll see one by one the first we have to generate that personal token along with that limited privilege in my case i provided that fruit privilege but uh, according to the project we can leverage the privilege also next one that you can add the token to the variable for the ci so generally you can set the variable we can fetch from that the gitlab cacd pipeline itself the third step is that we have to manage to set that git submodel strategy because this particular thing we can tell the runner to fetch that submodel before the job you can see the argument i'm passing with that recursive so this particular variable it can clone with that in the, all the submodel step 4 grant the privilege to the runner to allow to clone that repository so in this case we have to log into the submodel repository go into that setting.cacd there was a parameter called adding that project we have to allow the our parent repository so here this is the example configuration for the project manager with that one submodel we can add the multiple submodel also in this exercise i am going to cover with the one submodel only uh, we will see the code one by one the first one is that the git submodel strategy as i said earlier this particularly privileged to tell the runner to recursively to clone that entire project next one is the imaging part i am providing the image to python so along with some uh, tags also that before underscore script i am first one is i am adding that git package with, along with the no catching mechanism and generally the particular image i am choosing with it does not containing with the git package so that was the reason only i am especially to allow to install the git package next one is that git submodel d init hyphen allow hyphen force this particularly this command means we are clearing the directory and unregistered the submodel path if you exiting anything in the previously next one is that git submodel adding our submodel repository url as you said earlier we are adding the variable i am providing with that username and a token before into that our url also this path you have to mention and if we have to provide the tag so this is a particular repository name called wooden underscore toys but i am tagging with that wooden so the the cloning will be happening with that wooden name only next one is that git submodel sync iphone aggressively this particular option we can clone the project with submodel also and also you can see the things the update the update more command will be generally for pull and a single option for clone so these are a difference between that each other but you can you choose either of the one uh, you can add it also both also it won't create any problem at all and finally there is a the specs uh, part i'm just i'm destining that my cloning directory whether it be cloning perfectly or not so we are moving to that uh, my chrome browser we can see this entire operation so uh, i'm at that uh, chrome browser right now uh, this particular gitlab account is a free trial uh, for demo purpose i'm using the free trial itself so here i created that uh, two project uh, you can see a thing is the game the game is that uh, group under the game 
group uh, i created the one is that plastic underscore toys other one is the wooden underscore toys so this plastic is that is my parent one this is my wooden is my sub model one okay so the first steps as i show earlier no we have to generate that uh, personal tokens i am clicking in this one of the icon here that is you can go to the preference uh, then you can scroll down the access token so here I'm already created the puzzle tokens uh, if you want to create the new token just you can add the new token here and uh, provide the token name and uh, scopes variables you can provide it according to the project needs so right now I'm skipping this option next one I can show that the variable part or where I am setting here I'm moving back to my previous home page uh, as I said this is the one the parent one no so I'm going to that plastic toys here there is a settings page I'm moving on it here I'm clicking that CICD so you can scroll down below this is a va variable I'm expanding here here I'm setting that my CICD tokens whichever I created earlier no I'm mentioning here it should be that that in the parent itself only then I can go into the, my sub model repository again I'm going back to my home page here this is my wooden toys is my subdirectory you can scroll down here there is a settings page will be there click that settings uh, then you can click that uh, CACD you can scroll down below there was the token as this uh, you can expand the thing here I am providing my uh, parent one uh, this is a way to we are allowing the things okay so that's it I'm going back to my uh, home page uh, here only I'm, I'm my containing my uh, gitlab cacd.yml file uh, whichever show earlier no these are the code I am written here just I'm time being and just I'm editing the sample thing uh, here I'm adding that uh, some some commander tag testing I mentioning it this time commit the changes so once the commit is happening on the immediately that uh, the pipeline will be triggering here I am click that uh, plastic underscore toys you can see here this is a um, pipeline right now is running on it just you can click that uh, running the pipeline yeah I'm clicking the specs yeah my my job is successfully executed uh, also that the cloning also happening on it you can see here this output the first the python image will be cloning then i am installing the git package later on that uh, d init is happening on it here only i am passing the variable for my sub model repository this is the cloning is happening on with that wooden and then i am thinking this happened later on then i can use that list command to whether that cloning is happening or not properly so a so couple of file i am kept into my wooden repository it be listing properly so this is a way we can work on that sub model i hope this video will be clear to everyone thanks for watching bye